Hi, I'm Lisa Velastro and this is Lisa's Home Cooking. Today I am making mashed sweet potatoes. Who does not love mashed sweet potatoes? It's like a dessert, but it's really a meal. So I know everybody likes to make fresh mashed potatoes, which I do too all the time, but sometimes I like to switch it up too and make fresh mashed sweet potatoes. And my kids absolutely love them. Who's not gonna like a sweet potato with marshmallows and sugar in it? I mean, let's be honest, it's like a dessert. So today we are gonna to start with eight sweet potatoes, some dark brown sugar, or you could use light if you'd like, a package of mini marshmallows, two sticks of butter, and a little bit of salt. We're gonna start off with sweet potatoes. You're gonna peel them and put them in a pot of boiling water, which I have already done, and boil them for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your stove. So I think our potatoes are ready to be drained. So now we are going to drain our potatoes, but be careful, they're hot. And once I drain them, I'm going to put them right back in the same pot. Now the reason why I like to put them back in the same pot is because the pot is really hot. So once I add the ingredients, they're gonna start melting because we have hot potatoes and a hot pot. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to add our simple ingredients. I'm going to add about one teaspoon of salt because who doesn't like salty and sweet together? About two sticks of butter. Now we're gonna add about one cup of brown sugar. I like to eye things while I'm cooking. You know, that's the beauty of cooking and not baking. When you cook, you could add, you know, your ingredients without really measuring to the tea because a little bit extra of this, a little bit less of that, it really doesn't matter. Now, one of my favorite tools in the kitchen, I know a lot of people like to use potato smashers. I like to use a handy hand mixer. So we're gonna start off on the first speed. Incorporate all those ingredients together, and then we could add the speed slowly. And you will notice as you're mashing them that there are gonna be a little bit liquidy, but don't worry because once you put them in the oven, the liquid will absorb. Okay, now that we have this consistency, I'm going to transfer the mashed sweet potatoes into a glass casserole. Okay, we're gonna spread this out nice and evenly. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon right on top. And now comes my kid's favorite part, the mini marshmallows. And you could put as much or as little as you like. This is a full bag of mini marshmallows. I'll probably use about half, but again, my kids love marshmallows, so the more the merrier. Now we are ready to go right into the oven. So now I like to put this in at 350 and bake until the marshmallows start to melt. And then what I like to do is I like to blast it for a couple seconds with the broiler just to brown those marshmallows. But remember, when you put it on broil, you have to watch it because all it takes is one second for it to burn. They're starting to brown and remember it happens really quick. You could actually smell the marshmallows as they crack and start to melt. When you do switch your oven to broil, if your rack with your marshmallows is too high up, it will catch on fire and you will have flames. So one important tip is to put your marshmallow sweet potato tray in the middle of your oven. So it's gonna take about three to five minutes for the marshmallows to start to melt. Once you see that process, you'll stand by your oven, put your broil oven on for literally 15 to 20 seconds, and then it'll be all done. Okay guys, it looks like we're ready. We're gonna shut this oven off, and I'm going to show you the end result. And there we go. This is exactly what you're looking for. A brown marshmallow, not a burnt marshmallow, a brown marshmallow. Now it's time to taste. 
creamily delicious. So these mashed sweet potatoes are creamily delicious with a little bit of a pop of marshmallow right on top. It is mm -mm good. This is such a simple and easy dish. This is like dessert for dinner. It's a great side dish that goes well with everything. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video and share it with a friend. Bye.